all right y'all so i'm getting ready to leave my people's house and um let me tell y'all some love on your family treat everybody well love on people y'all so i had a great time so i'm going to the house now i'm gonna post some pictures at the end of me and my family y'all so stay tuned to the end all right so lord jesus the so-called Bishop William Murphy. <laughs> I'm sorry about this uh thing, y'all. Y'all, y'all looking at my steering wheel more than you're looking at me. Let me see if I ooh. Let me see if I can fix it just a tidbit. Oh. Okay, that better, y'all. Okay. Well, y'all can hear me. All right, this video is gonna be concerning Bishop. Pastor William Murphy. So last night for a New Year's Eve service, Pastor William Murphy, honey, he basically turned his church into the club. So it is so many people. And I, you know, when I was watching the videos, I was watching, does anybody in there, does anybody in there realize that that's not God? And it's, it's worldly. It's not of God and it's and did anybody get up and leave? I really would want to know that. I don't know what is going on with William Murphy. He just, um, what did he do? Um, did an ordination for um, the brat and her wife for a baby. He did a blessing over them, honey. He's four. He was talking about uh, Bishop, uh, the man that just died at, you know, Carlton Pearson. He was talking about the church should be ashamed because they didn't support Carlton Pearson. And baby, Carlton Pearson didn't even support God, honey. You know, all those things that he believed in where he was, he about, was about, he was a heretic if you ask me. He didn't believe Jesus was the way. He, it, it's just about like what he's doing. And I have uh, made a comment. I said, whoa, 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 unto William Murphy. I mean, I don't know what has happened to him. Um, I was talking with someone. They said they feel like he's probably lost his joy and contentment and uh, satisfaction. But you can only find it in Christ. You're not going to find joy and satisfaction because you're getting ready to do what the world do. You know, and somebody was saying that, he did it for the young people. The young people un, un, uh, understand uh, what William Murphy was doing. Let me tell you something, honey. It ain't but one gospel. There is no gospel for young people and a gospel for middle-aged people and a gospel for the elderly. Baby, ain't but one gospel. Ain't but one. You got to see your need for Christ. I don't care what age you are. And because you're beginning to act like the world, you're causing men and women to sin, Pastor uh, William Murphy. You're causing people to sin. You're causing people not to live a righteous, holy life by bringing those things into the church. I'm telling you, sir, you had better be mindful. You had better be, be careful of the things that you are doing. And you calling yourself a pastor and a bishop and a leader. Just because you sing good don't mean jack. Don't mean nothing. But I'm telling you, I would be afraid if I was him. I mean, he turned that church into a club. And I'm sure after they did all that partying and clubbing and dancing, he probably read out the Bible and probably threw in a couple more scriptures. But I'm telling you, honey, it is sad, it is terrible that a lot of our a lot of people are being misled by people in the church. But we all are gonna give an account for what we're doing, honey. What we're doing. And people are so afraid. I bet none. I don't, I guess nobody will approach him and tell him that was that was just wrong. Why would you have that type of service in a but you know why? Because that's who you are. That's who you you don't the reason you could bring that to your church because that's who you are. That's a part of your life. That's how you live. We're living in a time now. The Bible said people will be lovers of themselves. In the last days, people will have itching ears. They are love, they haters of people that love God, people that love righteousness. They hate that. 
They talk, they're going to say we judging him up. I'm telling you, sir, you had better repent and you had better find out where you left God. I know you still singing, but you better find out where you have left God. That was so disgraceful. My heart pure dropped when I seen, seen that video and you supposed to be a man of God. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all that's talking about, well, I don't see nothing wrong with you. You better see what the Bible say about stuff. There's a, the Bible said there's a way that seems the right to man, but the end thereof is destruction. We better find out what God says. But all that stuff that they was doing in that church, and they know where in the world I would have set up in there. No, there is a difference. God said we got to come out from the world. There is a difference. When you come to Christ, you got to change. And, and when you see, and when you see the love of God that He had for you, you will change. You can't straddle the fence. You can't do both. The William Murphy, I'm telling you, I would be afraid, sir. I would be afraid, but you might not because it seems to me you might be turned over to a reprobated mind. You think, you know what? You might be because now you think wrong is right. And when you begin to believe wrong is right, God has turned you over to reprobate. And nobody probably can't tell you nothing. Probably can't tell you nothing. But I'm telling you, sir, you're going to try to win the world. You want, as a pastor, you want to win the world, but in winning the world, in winning the love of the world, and winning of having all the young people to be at your church, and all the people to say you good, you're going to win the world and lose your soul, sir. That's what's going to happen. And anybody else that's compromising, anybody else that's taking down, anybody else that's trying to make everybody comfortable, make everybody feel good. You're going to win the world, but you're going to lose your soul. You're going to have to stay. And we're going to see some more stuff in, in 2024. We're going to see a little more deception. We're going to see a lot more people that are supposed to be leaders in the body of Christ being deceived. We're going to see a lot of, but I'm telling you, as people of God, we have got to stand for righteousness, stand for holiness, and do what's right before God. And I'm going to tell you, you can't do it in your own strength. You can't live in this world and serve God in your own strength. It takes God to help you do it. Because we as humans, we're not lovable. Some of it's hard to love people sometimes. But guess what? Through the grace of God, we can do it. It's hard to stand for righteousness and holiness when the world around you is, is doing what William Murphy is doing. When the world around you is compromising. Even the John Brown Pope. Is declared a blessing over homosexual marriages. The Pope ain't even saved. The Pope need to get saved. William Murphy need to get saved and come back to Christ. I'm telling you, the Bible said when you come to Christ, you got to count the cost. You got to count the cost. Lord, I'm telling you, that thing, it just disheartened me. It really did. It really did. So that's all I wanted to say. I know we're probably ain't gonna never see this video, honey, cause I'm too low for him, child. Ain't got no money, ain't got no status. You know how that goes. Some people, honey, that consider themselves, you know, up, up, up there, honey, they ain't gonna listen to you because you ain't got no degree, you ain't got no money, you ain't got no following, you ain't got this. And they consider all that stuff as being, you know, up there, you know. But let me tell you, so one thing I got, I got Jesus. And he's more than all of that. I got Jesus. But my heart goes out to him because I would hate. And it's, how, it's something how ministers, and I've done it myself, we start out good and then we get off ended. But God is trying to pull us back in. Don't let it be too late, honey. I've seen people on their deathbeds, honey, getting it right with God. Getting it right. They fixing it. They fixing it. And then you got some people won't never fix it. They're going to die with their hearts the way it is. Like, uh, what's his name, did? Oh, Jesus. But anyway, I love y'all. Y'all stay with God in 2024. Read your Bibles. And um, stay with God in 2024. Read your Bibles, honey. All right. So anyway, I'll see y'all later. And if I didn't say it in my other videos, happy, happy new year. Toodles.